Fuck a plan. We'll be decimated. Are you saying the whole San Andreas fault might go up? Everybody down! Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Hollywood's long been predicting the demise of California and the American West Coast. Wayne Johnson, his latest film, San Andreas, the next to bring the disaster into darkened theaters. But take what has happened recently in Nepal, the shocks in Japan, tectonic shifting due in part possibly to fracking. The nightmare is overdue, and it could make the movie version look like Saturday morning funnies. Our guest is an oceanographer and one of the world's leading experts on subduction zone earthquakes, professor of geology and geophysics from Oregon State University, Professor Chris Goldfinger. Professor, thanks for being here. Hi, Ed. Thanks for having me on. Professor, we've always talked so much about this, the movies. It's been decades where we always get the warnings and say, the big one's coming, the big one's coming, it's coming. But actually, people have just become rather blasé about it. So don't we need to tell them that this is nothing to be blasé about? It could get worse every single day. We don't have that big one. Well, that's true. Uh, it's always true to say it's coming. It's always in the future. Uh, but uh, it's hard, you know, we as humans don't always have the patience to have the long-term view of, I should be ready today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Uh, so you kind of have, we, we, we who are in this field kind of have to keep the pressure up a little bit so that people don't forget and, and, and slide into uh, complacency. Are there signs that we are closer? Because I saw a recent Oregon Public Broadcasting series and they said how well the Northwest is prepared for the magnitude 9-0 earthquake that scientists say, not maybe, say will hit along the Cascadia subduction zone just off the Pacific coast. Right, right. So in our area, uh, as along the San Andreas, the, you know, the, the probability is 100 percent. It's just a question of when. And so, um, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. We're not we're not very well prepared. The OPB documentary or their, their website, the documentary hasn't come out yet, is called Unprepared. And it's really contrasts uh, Japan, which is uh, very well prepared with the Pacific Northwest, which is just now kind of just now getting the news that this is going to happen in the future. I mean, even though it's 25 years old news, you know, Japan has had a thousand years uh, of preparation, and so we've got a long way to go. When we look at the level of destruction that the tsunami caused after the earthquake in Japan, and we look at a possible magnitude 9 earthquake in Portland or Seattle, is it fair to say that we as humans, our minds just simply could not comprehend the level of damage that would ripple from something like this? Yeah, I, th I think that's fair to say. It's, it's, it's really hard to comprehend it unless you go there and see it for yourself. Seeing it on TV, uh, as, as dramatic as it is, just doesn't, just doesn't do the job. And I, I was in the Tohoku earthquake in Japan, and then I've been back three or four times since then. And so I have a, I have a pretty clear picture of what the earthquake's like and what the, what, the destruction, what the destruction is like. But for the average person, no, you, re you really just don't get it. And Japan is a, it's a tough contrast because Japan has, was very well prepared and, and the Pacific Northwest is not. So our damage is going to be uh, probably quite a bit uh, more severe from the earthquake. Um, Japan has most of their cities along the coast, so most of the damage there was from the tsunami, not the earthquake. Mm -hmm. Ours will be more the other way around. But yeah, it's, it's really tough to wrap your head around what, what this is going to look like. What is it that keeps you up at night? Um, well, I, I guess what it is 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 just the slowness of uh, getting a society to to change course. You know, 25 years ago, uh, the subject of a giant earthquake like that in in our region was uh, unknown or or really controversial at best. And so we've had 25 years to sort of uh, get our heads around this and soak it up, and yet we've barely made a step. Just we're just barely making the first steps to uh, to get prepared for it. Start to change our infrastructure. Basically, we have to retool the infrastructure of uh, Vancouver, uh, Victoria, Portland, Seattle, and the smaller towns as well, and get rid of or start to phase out lots of unreinforced masonry buildings, bridges that are going to collapse and all these things. And it's such a monumental task that it takes forever. And it's just, you know, for somebody like me and all of us who work in this field, it's a really, it's frustrating to see how slowly that that goes and how long it's going to take. I've only got about 30, 40 seconds left, but because we are so slow in getting ready for something like this, in your professional opinion, how long would it take to rebuild from something like this? A decade? Well, if it happened now in our present state, uh, a decade would be uh, not, not far off. 
you know, some things would be up and running in months to, uh, to a year or two, but a lot of things, you know, we're going to have all of our coastal ho highways are going to be closed by landslides. Most of the bridges will go down. It, it's going to take quite a while. Uh, a decade is not uh, unreasonable. We are not looking to scare people. We are merely looking to tell people that it is an inevitability and the geologists know it. It's going to happen sooner or later and we had better be prepared. Uh, the big one in the movies may just be again just a, a forebear of things to come. Professor Chris Goldfinger, thanks so much for joining us. It's always fascinating this subject. I look forward to talking to you again in the future. All right. Thanks, Ed, for having me on. My pleasure. Take care. Uh, a point, by the way, San Andreas, they haven't had a big one, a quake greater than 7.7 .7 since 1857. It's going to happen sooner or later. Stay with us. The fastest 60 Minutes in News continues.